All right, everybody, welcome. There will be people coming in as we speak. And everybody online, welcome. This is worldwide. We have Germany and, I don't know, Mexico, country, Mexico Pakistan, all kinds of the world is watching. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger as it should. So, uh, today's lecture is inspired by last night, because last night we went to a bikini bar in San Jose that just opened up. And um, I had a student of mine who was here from out of town and um, doing a one-on-one -on -one with me, and I was observing. So all night, you know, when I slept, for some reason, I don't know, you know, it's almost like, you know, you ever had that when you sleep, but you don't really sleep? Your thoughts keep going throughout the night, and you're dreaming, but it's kind of like you're awake. It was one of those nights. So I woke up, and I had just kind of like analyzed the whole thing, and trying to see where the things that I observed um, that were attracting the females and the things that were repulsing the females. Oh, by the way, we're going to talk about girls. I don't know if you're here with the right person. Okay. Oh, wait, what is this? <laughs> okay, so let's go over this, okay? There's an image that we have of ourselves. Let's call that a self-image because it makes sense, okay? Self-image. And then there's an image that other people have of us. Right now, you are having some image of me. If you've seen me online or whatever, you have an image. If you haven't, whatever, right? That's your image, uh, objective, from the outside of who I am. And then I have an image of myself, right? Which, which well, I don't know which one's more accurate, but they are separate, all right? So I've known very, very beautiful women who their self-image was broken, right? So, for example, the girl was completely flat and then she got a boob job. And growing up, she was called fat and ugly, and then she kind of skinnied out as she got older. So now she's got a beautiful body, she's got hair extensions, and she has uh, incredible breasts, and she just looks great. I mean, she's like a gym rat, right? But what she has in her memory is growing up and being made fun of in high school all the time. So she carries herself, and she acts like a bitch most of the time. In fact, it's very hard to talk to her, okay? And if you say um, a compliment to her, she gets very suspicious because it doesn't match the self-image that she has. However, if you kind of dog her out a little bit, right? If she comes and she's, you know, doing her thing and you just kind of like, right. did you just get those extensions? They look good. No, they look good. I just, because I could see here, cover it, boom. That will make her go. And, and she'll shy away, but she'll be back to try to get your attention again. She knows that's her self-image. You hit who she thinks she is now. And everybody else seems fake. The ones that are complimenting her, it's like complimenting a, a, a fat girl who's flat. It looks like a, a blob, basically, you know? <laughs> fat girls should have boobs, but... So her self-image doesn't match what people say about her. Okay, good. Now, let's keep going forward. Uh, we're out, and let's say you have an image of yourself where you feel, you feel, okay, that it's okay uh, for girls to talk down to you for whatever reason. Now I want you to know something. This is actually what we are taught growing up. We're taught that it's okay for a woman to just kind of snob and, you know, and walk like that and you have to be like, oh, but, you know, and like the classic fucking Michael Jackson, you know, the way you turn, she's walking in the streets and he's still like going after her. You know, she's just walking. You know, he does it right. If you watch, he's cocky about it in that video, if you know what I'm referring to. But the image that we have is the girl walking with her friends, haha, <laughs> laughing with the purse, and the guy's like, hey, girl. Right? And she keeps going, and the guy's supposed to chase, and he's supposed to, like, go spend all his money and get something for her and impress her, and she's supposed to be like, no. And then she goes home, and then he's outside the window throwing her off. Dink, dink. And she's like, ah, oh, hold on. And he's like, just give me one chance, you know? And she's like, oh, I just got... No! You know? And then the next day, he's got... And it's like, whoa, dude! Okay, what the hell? What's happening here? That's the image I grew up with. Okay? That's the image I grew up with. If at any point growing up you were ever rude or mean or a better word would be alpha to a female and a family member saw it or a parent saw it, or even a teacher saw it, they would be very quick to jump on that. That's not how we talk to girls. 
Oh, sorry, shit, I didn't know. How do we talk to girls? We're very nice to girls. Okay, fine. And that's okay. I'm not here to say don't be nice to women, because I'm nice to women. Obviously, she's saying you're so sweet, why would she say that? But there's a difference, okay? If you want to attract them, if you want to attract them, the way like moths go to a flame, or uh, bees to whatever, flowers, uh, or flies to shit would be a better fucking example of this. Uh, if you want to attract them, you have to give off the right scent that nature provided for them to be attracted to. And if we're talking about the... I'm keeping my voice down a little bit. I'll shut the door in a minute and start yelling in a minute. Um, if we're talking about a um, female who's a 9 or a 10, last night we are in the bikini bar, and those women, some of them are not very attractive, some are very attractive, but in that environment they carry themselves like they're the shit. Why? Because every man is throwing money, like looking at them, and they're making them... that's who they are. So in that environment, they are the 9 and the 10, right? That woman, you cannot attract her by being nice to her. You have to portray certain qualities that are alpha. So we're going to go back to the self-image. What if your self-image is not alpha? And we've got to define alpha, because it's like, well, what's that, you know? But we'll, we'll define it. But what if your self-image is not alpha? What if your self-image is beta, which is you, you supplicate and you give and you, okay, and you, you have to be last and keep your voice down and shoulders forward and you're lucky if she talks to you and if you want something you have to kind of just wait and hopefully, you know, the good things come to those who wait kind of a fucking garbage that happens in the world and shit like that, right? And if this is the self-image, then she comes up and she likes your attire, the way you're dressed, or she likes your body, or she likes your height, or she likes whatever, something about you, and she immediately feels an attraction. And she walks up, and the moment she starts talking, you start speaking bigger to her. Right? Now her attraction starts going, mm. Did you have a realization over there? Yes. <laughs> Good. This talk is inspired by you, I know. Okay? But this is a common thread, okay? And it's a common thread because I've been there. Right? I didn't come and kick, kick me out of the womb like this. I didn't do it. I had to learn this shit. But I practiced it all, all the time. And there are certain things that we do that demonstrate that we're beta. Certain things we do that we demonstrate we're alpha. She's attracted to alpha. Okay? Now we're just going to start with some very basic, basic things. If in your mind, let me, let me give you this goofy example which works actually. If in your mind, your self-image, if you were walking and in your self-image you had a cape on, Superman cape or some shit, right? If you put on a cape, your shoulders will come back in your mind. Walking with a cape is difficult to walk like this with a cape. As I say, you're like a 95-year-old hunched over, you know, guy who is cold and grabbed a blanket and put it on. But if you were like a superhero with a cape and your self-image, then nobody else can see it. The image of myself in my mind as I'm walking has a cape. Shoulders go back. Chest comes out. The S on the chest. Now, nobody else needs to know that. But what do they upload in their mind? They see somebody who has a posture as they walk. Now that signifies something to them. If your self-image, the way you see yourself, is somebody who is comfortable and would like to connect with people. Like I'm curious about people. I told my roommate today, you know Hannah, she, um, what were we talking about? I fucking remember what the fuck we talked about. But the, the point that I made to her um, was, I said look, when, when uh, a person is, is feeling like, like they're not worth it, no matter how many girls you give them, and no matter how much money you give them, I said, they just throw that away. I said, when a guy knows he's worth it, even if there's nothing around, he'll go and start making shit out of it. You know what I mean? A man who's rich, who's wealthy inside, will start looking around and go, we need to do something with this shit. Right? Yet go give the bum down the street, you know, $500. Here we go. Come back in five, four or five days. Let's see. Let's see what was poor. Was his wallet poor or was his image and mentality poor? It's the way he sees himself. He can't see himself outside of that situation. So we're continuously creating, of course you know this already, we're creating the world we live in, you know? But this is the example of it. So we, the first thing to do is instead of trying to get her to like us, we should first look at our own self-image and see if we like us. <laughs> do we like ourselves? Do, do I like myself? If I stepped out of my life for a second and I looked back on me last night, would I be like, God, that guy's cool, man. 
Do you see how he was with the girls? And did you see how this and that? Yeah, I like that guy. That's me, my self-image. And I have to stay true to that image. Okay, why? Because ultimately, the girl's going to come and go. Friends are going to come and go. Business associates will come and go. But you're going to stay with you the whole time. Now, I was telling this to one of the girls last night. Right? She came up. Said, I was your night. Uh, I said, you know, you work somewhere else too. She said, yeah. And the other place she works at is, is really dirty. Yeah, it's just gross, you know. They... I said, how do you feel about working over there now? Because the new club, I, I, you know, I help hire the girls. And it's very clean. I said, um, so I started to describe the self-image thing to her. And I said, you know, when you go over there, do you feel like you compromise yourself? She's like, yeah. I said, now, here's the interesting thing. Every time you go and you compromise yourself, you then have to make up a reason why it's okay to be there. I said, and your self-image drops. You see that? I said, now, you know about it, nobody else knows, but the next time you come in here and you walk around, I said, then you look like the way you do right now. Which is, I said, you have a long face walking around. And she started laughing, she goes, I said, you have a long face, you look like you're upset. You think you're going to make money like that? Because you're not. I said, no man's going to want to pay for a girl who looks around upset walking around. There's too many other ones smiling. So I was educating her. But what I was telling her is if you compromise your own self-image of who you are, and I said to her, are you somebody who, who was in that kind of environment? Drugs and, and take out your titty to get make a little bit more money or whatever. She goes, I'm not. And she wasn't. I can tell she has more purity in her. I said, good. Then you got to make a decision. If you have to make less money, you make less money. I said, but ultimately, you're going to make more money if you stay true to you. And I said, and I'm sitting here as an example of someone who's done that, you see? I was broke for eight years of my life, but now I make good money. But I never compromised it. Now, what's happening to her? I'm educating her. She's seeing my value. I'm saying who I am. And I'm not hitting on her. So she's changing. I said, okay, here's what I want you to do. I said, walk around. Don't walk around and try to get money from the customers. I said, go and have a good time. Smile and meet them. Make eye contact and just ask them how their night is and keep walking around meeting everybody. Watch what happens. I sent her off. She came back. She had done better. Didn't hit on her yet. Okay? But she'll be mine very quickly. Because I know where she works. We're going to be there again. And that's life. Okay? This is how you do pick up. This is how you do game. Game is not where you show up and you figure out how you're going to make her want you. Game is this. It's natural. You show up and you go, I'm an alpha male. If you're a gorilla, you do something like that. Or if you're a lion. You know, you basically say, here I am. And the women, you see, they're prancing around. Some of them are in heat, so their asses are real big and red. They're giving off the scent. All the men are kind of around them, right? But you're the alpha male. So you just kind of walk around and you demonstrate who you are. Knowing what? Some girl is going to come. Because she has to look around and what she's going to see is a bunch of other guys who are in a natural state of affairs. If you cut out the, the human quote, unquote, civilized, which is, we're not very civilized with how we, we act, right? If you cut that out and you see nature for what it is in the, in, the, in the human species when it comes to mating, if you see it for what it is, you see a bunch of men that in the wild will be going like this. And the girls, like when we're at the club, are going like this. And it's like backwards. What is she, this is a... Is this a fucking hyena society? The, the patriarch? You know, the, uh, the fucking, uh, uh, I mean, uh, matriarch. Uh, uh, the woman is, is leading now? Because that's what it looked like when I walked in there. I didn't see men walk in and stand their ground and look at everybody and smile and sit down and lounge and talk to their friends. And when the girl walked up, they didn't look at her head back, qualify her. Hi, have a seat if you want to have a drink. One second. Blah, 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 keep talking to your friend. Okay, now tell me about you. How's your night going? I didn't see that. Now that's a man. And that triggers something in her. What I saw was this. Guys walking in and... You know? Hungry. <laughs> hungry. And the women walking around like they own the shit. With their little fucking <laughs> bags that they put their money in. Everybody has this little square uh, box, right? And they... And they... Flirt, like, and every guy was putty. Okay? So, there's a difference there. We're talking about a mating ritual. So let's flip it so we get a better understanding.